He's all bark, no bite. Ah, uh, you see you making all this noise for no reason. See, I'm your buddy. I'm on camera. I don't taste that good. <laughs> Trust me. Plus, chocolate is not good for you. Our dog is not supposed to have chocolate. <laughs> What's his name? He's scrappy, he's deaf, he's old, he's uh... Scrappy! Yeah, he's 12 years old. Be nice! <laughs> he, he, I think his barking is his way of saying hello. Oh, <laughs> well, he's definitely not that, uh, uh, nothing to be afraid of. No! <laughs> See you later, Scrappy! Peace out, Scout! <laughs> So my videographer gave me a topic and the topic today is relationships and relationships are a very touchy subject and here's why. The only experience we have about relationships are from our broken relationships and our Bishop David G. Evans said that and that was a very thought inspiring statement, here's why. We go from one relationship to the other and we take our baggage and our garbage to the other relationship instead of trying to figure out what went wrong with the old relationship so we don't bring that garbage into the new relationship. In my journey, I'm very transparent, I've been married before, and I realized after looking back that the problems weren't solely my wife's, they were also mine. I was selfish, self-centered, uh, and a bunch of different characteristics that are not uh, productive in a marriage relationship. When the Apostle Paul writes about what a marriage relationship should look like, he said that a husband should be able to die for his wife, just as Christ died for the church. And that simply means all your bad habits, your selfishness, your self-centeredness has to die, and your wife should be in a position that she is protected, loved, covered, and you should water her with your words. That also means that you should be prepared to die for your wife and your family. So in me going through what I've gone through and trying to become a better individual, a better man for my next relationship, the focus is on me, not on the other person, what they did or didn't do, what I think they should have done, but what I should have done to make my next relationship last. My next relationship, is gonna be my last relationship because I'm working on me. I'm working to fix all the situations, circumstances, and problems that I created with all of my garbage. We come with garbage simply because we're alive. Some of the information that we come with, some of the garbage that we come with comes from our formidable years. Traumas and torments, uh, rejection, or all these different things that happened when we were kids. And although we are adults, sometimes we're little kids on the inside. And growing up is a vital part of a successful relationship. This was more than one minute. God bless you all, but I did it. Have a good day.